Hello there, it's Diorama Don here once more uh, with an, an, another video showing you exactly how I go about uh, making and uh, weathering bricks and stones. Um, what I normally do is uh, show you something that I've cut out, uh, maybe a, a, build, a fr front of a building or bridge or whatever, uh, then go away, put the bricks on or make the bricks, put them on, and then come back and show you. And I've had a couple of comments uh, saying that they, they people want to see exactly what I do, exactly how I go about uh, making bricks and uh, uh, weathering them. So that's what I'm going to do. So to make bricks, there, there, are, there are two ways. There's uh, making individual separate bricks uh, that we will stick on um, a piece later or uh, actually carving out the shape of the bricks on the piece that you're making. So assuming this is the side of a building for instance uh, you could put the um, <laughs> the grout which is what I use I'm just about to show you uh, the grout onto the piece that you're making and then carve out the shape of the bricks. So I'll show you both ways. Um, this way, this is a piece of uh, bro broken ceramic tile. Uh, the, the surface of the tile, the uh, tile grout, won't, it won't stick to, adhere to. Uh, it will to the sides. Uh, because that's what grout is for. It's for, for going uh, into, onto the sides of uh, ceramic tile, but not onto the surface. It won't stick onto that, which is what we want. So, uh, I use a, a grout. This is the stuff that goes between the tiles and, and is easily and very cheaply bought from any uh, DIY store or any uh, store that sells actual um, uh, tiles, floor tiles, um, wall tiles, what have you. So we pour a little bit, I won't do a lot for the, uh, make it uh, easier. So we've, we've got the grout powder in a container and we pour just a little bit of water. It doesn't need too much. Uh, there are uh, two kinds of grout that I buy. Uh, one is, because I live in Thailand, it's a, 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 a Thai grout. And it takes ages for the water to mix into it. The other, the other um, one is, is an American, in, in fact that's what it's called, uh, American tile grout. And it mixes straight away, uh, but it's more money. <laughs> so. So I always buy the cheaper one that takes longer to mix. That's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Tight. So you can see it's taken a long time for that little bit of water to mix in, mix in with the grout. Uh, I think we're getting here. Yeah, we're getting there now. So now it's at, at a, a state where it's too dry. But what we want is not too wet. So too dry is good. So if we add just a little tiny bit more water and mix that, that's looking better. Although it needs just a fraction more. And now that's the kind of thing we're looking for. It's uh, like a, a margarine, soft butter type of consistent, consistency. Okay, now we've got that. Now we can move over to the tile and plonk it on there. I'd normally do enough to cover the whole of the area of this tile. 
but with it being a consistency like that we can spread it out because we only need it to be two millimeters thick like so and we know we can get it to two millimeters thick because this card around the edge is two millimeters so if I tamp the mixture from the sides we know that it's going to be two millimeters thick so I've got a piece So we've got a piece that's two millimeters thick. Now I'm going to leave that for uh, 15 minutes, half an hour maybe, and we can, uh, well I'll show you what we do after half an hour. So I'll, I'll come back in half an hour and we will continue. So about 15 minutes has passed uh, and I've got now a, a washing up sponge, an old, old uh, throw away washing up sponge. And with the uh, rough side, we can tamp out any um, unwanted marks on the surface, but also to leave uh, corrugated, I don't know, what would you call it? A rough, <laughs> a rough surface on the uh, surface of the of the grout because this is going to be the, the part of the brick that we will see so it's um, it's more in keeping with what a, a brick will look like so you can see that uh, rough surface now rather than just as well, you could keep it smooth if you wanted a smooth brick but it, it's just that when we come to weather and paint or whatever we do with the surface of the brick it uh, it, it looks better it, it weathers better because we can uh, uh, paint paint the surface to um, <laughs> difficult to explain I'll explain when we get when we get to that point okay so I'm going to leave that that's uh, that's just a, a roughed up surface now and uh, I'll, I'll leave that it's still too wet to, to cut into but uh, I'll give it half an hour and uh, maybe a little longer and I've, I've marked out the size that I want the size of brick that I want um, a 30 a 1 in 35 scale uh, brick is probably about three millimeters by seven millimeters. Well, I've marked out four millimeters because three, mi three millimeters, that really is very small, uh, difficult to, to, uh, to work with. So I've gone for four millimeters by seven millimeters and that's the uh, measurements I, I've uh, marked out on the side so that when we come to cut in, in, a, in a half an hour, I've got the uh, spaces to uh, to follow to cut cut along. So I'll be back in half an hour. Okay, so here we are, half an hour later, and it's uh, just starting to to get a little bit uh, hard on the top. So I'll cut out the uh, shape of the. bricks like so I can see can you see okay yes I think so so that's why I've marked out the size down the, the sides so I'll get 
constant uh, size of brick. Okay, you get the idea anyway, so I'd go all the way down that way <coughs> and then turn and well, I'll start there. I'll just do a few of these and then you can. Okay, so now you can see uh, we've got, where are we, bricks appearing, size of bricks there. Now, unfortunately, you have to wait. <laughs> um, there's not much I can, apart from finishing off marking out the bricks, um, I've got to wait then a good five or six hours at least before I can uh, lift lift the, um, the the bricks off so I'll do that and then it will be another 24 hours really before I can I can use them before they're completely dry and uh, use them uh, for, for for building with so I'll be back I'll finish off uh, marking them out and I'll be back in a few hours time and uh, we'll lift them off off the um, ceramic tile Okay, <clears throat> the bricks are dried now. You can see where I marked out all the bricks. Uh, it, this is 24 hours later, so the bricks are completely dry now. <clears throat> and all you have to do is just ease them off, like so. And you've got a pile of bricks. easier than using moulds, just as quick as using uh, styrofoam and there and we've got a pile of bricks so I shall start to uh, build a brick wall now with that. Um, they're uh, house bricks using um, red uh, tile grout but using grey grout you can make like I did on my previous video, uh, these stones. All the, all I used was grey grout and, and cut uh, the bigger stones. So um, you, you, you could, the same principle, you can make, make stones like that or as in the Ramel Bridge, cutting these uh, large dress stones at the base of the bridge there that's exactly the same process and these stones at the top there so I can cut whatever size I like using uh, this principle and uh, because floor and wall tiles come in lots of different colors and designs so does the grout you can get various colors of, of grout so uh, gray grout for stone red grout for brick uh, it makes uh, makes life very easy. So th that's uh, an alternative to, to ordinary house bricks. But <clears throat> I'll build a brick wall with this. And all we do, going back down, PVA glue straight onto uh, your cardboard, if you could see it. So just a, a little bit of uh, PVA glue on there. Um, I don't suppose this is going to work. But dip a sharp stick. <laughs> Can't see. And you can pick up your brick then with uh, a little bit of PVA on the end and place it exactly where you like. And this is... No, fairly quick process when it works properly. Never does on the, on camera. It just never works. So you just move the bricks 
into position where you want them on whatever you're making. I'll use my fingers. And obviously in the shape uh, that bricks are. So I'll make a, a, a small brick wall with the rest of, or some of the uh, these bricks uh, and I'll come back and we'll continue. So we've got a bit of a brick wall now. Uh, you can see now why I use that washing up sponge uh, to uh, break up the, uh, the surface area of the brick. Um, it, it makes it look more real. They look, look more real um, with that uh, indentation on the, uh, the surface there. That's not quite straight. Yeah, that one. That took me 10 minutes to do this. It's not once you've got the bricks and the glue and uh, uh, the, the building made in cardboard or whatever you make it in, uh, it doesn't, it, it seems a very daunting task when you say I have to put each brick on at a time. Uh, but 135 scale buildings are very small, they're not very big. Uh, and not every part of the building is all brick. Uh, so it's, it's not a, a, a bigger task as, as maybe you think it is. Um, this only took well less than 10 minutes just to, to do this. So it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't take too long to do a building. Anyway, there is the uh, brick wall ready to be um, mortared. <laughs> uh, we've got to put mortar in between the bricks. Well, I'll leave that for now because I've got to wait for the glue to dry anyway. So I'll put that to one side and we'll go on to the other type of uh, brick. How you can make a, uh, the other type of brick. Um, it'll be a, a case of laying the mortar in this area uh, and allow it, again allowing it to dry. And then uh, we'll, I'll mark out uh, the, the, the brick straight into the mortar. Um, um, I will do that, but first, um, tile grout will not stick to cardboard. It will initially, but when it's dried out and after a while, uh, one little knot like that and a, and a great big clump of it will fall off because it, it's not uh, stuck to the cardboard properly. So you have to seal it. Um, the way I seal it is using... Uh, well, uh, it's called wall putty here, but it's not putty. It's wall um, filler. You know, when you when you have a, a crack in the plaster of your uh, living room or whatever, uh, you would use wall uh, filler to fill in the crack. So that's what I use. Again, not very expensive. This this big tub cost me uh, two pounds. Uh, and this will last, I mean, I, I make models all day, every day. And this big tub will last me a month easily. So uh, it's, it's of very little consequence. So I'll use just a little bit of uh, the filler. Get that back. And just a little bit of water because it's, it's not uh, pliable enough to... That's it, just a little tiny bit. And mix that in. And with this on the cardboard, it will seal the cardboard and the filler will uh, stick to this. Too much water. Didn't know I'll put that much in. That's better. So that's it. And then we just brush that onto the surface that you're going to lay your, where your bricks are going to be. There we go, that's sealed. And it dries very, very quickly. Within 10 minutes, I can uh, 
within 10 minutes I can use uh, use this now so I'll wait that 10 minutes come back and we'll uh, lay more more to uh, <laughs> more tile grout so the wall filler is dry now and I've just mixed some more tile grout exactly the same way that I made uh, made the bricks uh, so um, I've done that already and then uh, instead of putting it on the ceramic tile I'll put it straight onto the subject and then spread this out this is just a test piece obviously it's not to uh, Mm, there we are. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. That's it. Done. Just flatten that off. That's it. That's all you need to do. Again, now we've got to wait about half an hour to an hour or so. And then I'll come back and we'll mark out uh, the bricks into the... Uh, into the grout okay so uh, I'll be back in uh, in one hour and we'll do that okay so the grout is uh, dry enough now to to mark out so I've started started drawing the, the vertical lines I'll just do a few more all I use is a, a sharpened barbecue stick and a, a steel ruler um, the lighting is very bad in this room, so it's going to be difficult for me to see. It's my excuse. So you can see the idea, just marking out. Okay, so I'll carry on with that. And then <clears throat> once that is done, then I use... Uh, a small watchmaker screwdriver or anything that is about uh, three three or four millimeters wide and then just mark out the the bricks like so can you see that Just do a line above. Is that better? So you can see the shape now of the bricks. Um, I've used red brick colour to make red bricks, but you can use uh, grey grout and you can mark out uh, a cobbled street in the same way. This is exactly the same same process uh, on this cobbled street. So either cobbles or bricks or stones, whatever you want to to mark out. So I'll carry on carry on marking out this, and then we'll have two brick walls that we can um, put the mortar between. So I'll be back in a minute. So now we've got two completed brick walls, uh, <clears throat> two different methods, one uh, individual bricks, like so, and the other one I've carved out the bricks with a sharp stick. Okay, it's um, your decision, what you think looks better. Um, I'll put the mortar between the bricks. Uh, it'll make both walls look a lot better. So again, I use a wall filler. Just a little bit. Maybe a bit more. <clears throat> and then just a little bit of water just to make it more pliable and then just a little bit of black paint 
that will turn it more to a a mortar colour. So mix that up. <laughs> I get a mess again. Oh, that seems to be about right. Just so that we can brush it on and, and in between the bricks. That's that. And then just make sure that it goes in between all the bricks. that one. I won't do all of this. Or maybe I will. This is very easy to do but it's um, a lot of waiting for things to dry. That's That's the drawback. You have to keep waiting for this to dry before you can do the next process. So we have mortar now between our bricks. And I've forgotten to bring the uh, water in, so I'll be back. There we go, by the magic of video editing, I've now got my water. So we'll just go across there with the a damp sponge and the bricks will start to come through I hope there we go oh that's better So we now we've got mortar between our bricks there. We'll do the same with this one. Talk amongst yourselves. There we go. Looking a lot better. So what do we have to do now? Yes, you've guessed it. Wait for it to dry. But it's uh, it's only um, wall filler, which dries very, very quickly anyway. So there we are. I'll wait maybe an hour or so for those to dry. Uh, and then I'll come back and we'll do a bit more. Okay, I think we're dry enough now. Uh, what you could do at this stage, if you wanted to, is uh, gouge out any bricks that you want that look broken. So you can just take out uh, a few broken bricks like that if you wanted it to look something like that. This is a video I did, uh, the last video I think, uh, of... Uh, a dilapidated shop and you can see the brickwork is all uh, broken and gouged out so that's the kind of thing that you can do uh, but what, what we will do now is uh, just give it a, a black wash just a little bit of black paint and water needs to be quite thin it doesn't want you don't want to actually paint it black it just needs to be a, a thin black uh, coating 
So plenty of water with the black paint. And then just uh, mm, too thick. I might be okay. It maybe needed just a little more water, but it'll be fine. So this will weather the bricks. It will make it uh, a lot darker when this is dry. Again, we've got to, have to wait for it to dry. And I'll do this one as well. Okay, so again, we're going to have to wait. Oh, going to have to wait for this to dry. Uh, and then we can do what we like. We can uh, add colour to some of the bricks. We can um, break some of the bricks. Or uh, go over with uh, sandpaper on some of the bricks. So, there we go. Uh, we'll have to wait again for that to dry. And then the final stage is uh, uh, just doing what we like, what what we intend to end up with. Uh, if it's anything like that, uh, not much at all. There's no paint at all on any of these bricks. These are just the different colours that happen to turn out uh, when the uh, black wash had dried. So we'll wait and see, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so the black wash is dried now. Uh, where I gouged out a couple of bricks beforehand, they've gone dark. So now if I gouge out a little bit more, these will be a, a lighter colour. And then with sandpaper, I can pick out the odd brick and, and lighten it up which will give it a, a contrast so it will start to look like a, a proper real brick, brick wall and it, possibilities are endless but just with a bit of uh, sandpaper really don't need paint you could do of course if you wanted but but that will give uh, a pretty reasonable effect of a brick wall. And on the other one, if, if it may be a little dark, you could, you could go over a whole area just to, to lighten that area. And again, take out a few... Uh, broken bricks and just highlight a few with uh, sanding uh, <coughs> sanding over a few uh, odd bricks so again quite realistic and also when you touch they feel like bricks but quite honestly that's what they are uh, that um, uh, tile grout is pretty much uh, ground brick all you're doing is reconstituting it is that the right word <laughs> so uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do okay so that's how I model and weather uh, my bricks. If you've enjoyed the video, then uh, please subscribe. Uh, the channel is only three months old and the subscriptions, I, I'm, I'm halfway to being monetized. So things are going uh, better than expected. Uh, but please uh, subscribe and you'll be notified when new um, videos come up there are th i think 35 videos already uh, so please uh, have a look have a look through the other videos 
um, have a go yourself. I know that the thing to do at the moment is to use uh, styrofoam. Um, it, they, they all take time. What, whatever brickwork you make, whatever you model, it takes a long time to do. Um, so you're just going to have to put up with it. Whether you use styrofoam or uh, clay or um, tile grout like I do. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me know how you get on, if you do try it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, happy modelling.